Hello subscriber and viewer, today we will see how to download Adobe Micromedia Flash. Okay, so first you should know why we need to download this software or for what purpose we use that software. So we use this software for creating logos, symbol or particularly for creating interactive or dynamic images means suppose you want to move image from one place to another or suppose you want to rotate the image then in that case you cannot use paint or ms word okay for that case you need to depend on some software and that software is nothing but adobe micromedia flash so this software is used for creating some images and you can move that image from one point to another or you can rotate also and you can create some cartoon also by using micromedia flash so today we will see how you can download that software so here <coughs> you first open the google in google you just type adobe micromedia flash and after this you will get the link like that so open in new tab so here you see friend this website is open you just click on download now and it will start downloading okay in the description also i mentioned the link you see the link and start downloading okay so once again i repeat you go on google type this and you just open the first link and here you click on download now i already installed so i am not clicking it here okay so after downloading process you will get the exe file so in my computer i have already downloaded the setup so you need to just double click here once you double click here you click on s and after that your execution will start here the process is going on so it will take some time after this here you don't need to do anything just wait for the next dialog box you click on here <coughs> after that click on next button again you click on next and here you click on install so here it will take some time for the installation so after that this dialog box comes and you click on finish so finally we have installed the software <coughs> so you can open this software from here go on all program and here you check out here micromedia folder and you should click on micromedia flash 8 okay after that here i want the trial version for 30 days so click here and click on continue here you will get two option you use flash professional 8 so then it will start for starting first time it will take some time okay and finally our software open so you here you will get some option just click on flash document okay so this screen will open it's very simple to operate this software these are nothing but frames timeline and layer later then after this tutorial we will discuss about this okay so this tutorial is nothing but the part one after this tutorial we will see the next tutorial okay so i request you <coughs> if you are interested in the micromedia flash or you are interested in creating logos or some images interactive images then you should see the part two also or uh, you can see the coming videos also so in this tutorial we will see the basic only how you can operate this software this is line command line command it is useful command by using line command you can draw different different types of shapes easily okay you can draw the shape like that also 
so you can easily create the different different shape by using line command you can change property also like that you can change type of line and finally then you can draw you can change color also okay so like this you can use the line command okay so from here you will open this is line tool okay after that we will see pencil tool <coughs> pencil tool is just used for writing purpose okay you can write your name by using by using which option pen pencil tool from here you can change color thickness you can change the type of line so in this way you can easily use the you can easily use line tool here and pencil tool very simple you just click here and practice so i hope you understood how to install how to install micromedia flash and how to work with pencil and the line tool so that's it for the today's tutorial and after this tutorial you should download the software the link i mentioned in the description also and at the beginning also i mentioned how you can download the software once you download you practice the line and pencil tool remaining tool we will see in the next tutorial so i request you you please see the next tutorial and don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you